I'm helping you guys. Oh. Not sure which way to go. Oh. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Vertigo Remastered. So if you don't know what this game is, this is a bit of an older game. Uh, I believe it was... What in the fuck is that? <laughs> I think this was released about a year or two ago. Um, and the sequel is coming out called Vertigo 2. Uh, but I guess the developer decided to go back and improve the original and... Well, yeah, here we are, Vertigo Masters. I do believe this is made by only one person. Uh, I've, in all the footage I've seen, I think, in a credit sequence or in the intro sequence, it's made by only a single guy, which is really impressive. People have said that this is almost on the level of, like, Alex and Boneworks even, the amount of interaction. So I'm really interested to see just how well this one holds up. And, and from what I've heard, the remastered is better in every way, shape, and form than the original, so I highly recommend you buy the remaster. But, you know, if you like the old one too, nothing's stopping you from buying that one as well. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the options. Always the first thing you should do. Good, it has smooth locomotion. I want head based. Yep, okay. It has smooth turning, smooth locomotion, and both types of movement. Seated mode. Oh, thank you so much. And left handedness. Alright, it has everything a good VR game needs. See, see this, other developers? This is all you need. Wait, is this not... This is not a flat image. Oh my god, this is not a flat image. I can actually look around the corners. Oh. My bad, I accidentally reset the position. This is an interesting way to do cutscenes in VR. I've never seen that. Feels like I could just reach in and grab that cat. Here we are. Whew. Wow, you know what? The, the background is not terribly detailed, but this looks pretty good. Can I actually go back? <laughs> I know it, it wants me to go in that house. It's very obvious, but can I just go this way? There's no invisible wall yet. Oh, wait, now there is one. <laughs> Alright, I figured I couldn't go very far. Wow. Okay, those clouds look fucking good. That's a good spot. Hey, Sonia. I know you don't have any reception in the valley, so I assume you'll get this message once you get some altitude closer to my cabin. Hmm. Uh, you know, I don't believe in any of this supernatural stuff, but there's been uh, even more weird shit happening in town since you left. Not quite sure what you expect to find up there, but there's clearly something going on. Just try to be careful. Oh, I stocked a bunch of firewood last time I was up there. Light a fire so you don't freeze to death. Call me if you find anything, okay? Okay. See ya. Sweet. I'm gonna turn off my Steam notifications real quick. Alright, there we go. Notifications turned off, so no more pop-ups. Oh. Oh, I'm a female. Whoa, 
Well, <laughs> well then. All right. Oh my god, that feels good. All right. Got a phone. No. Um. So I know I'm in seated mode. I don't know if there's anything I can do to pick that back up. Let's hope I don't need that. <laughs> Let's really hope I don't need that. Oh, missed. Ah, missed again. There we go. Wow. All right. So this is made by... I don't know if it's made by one developer or a small team, but... Gotta say, this is really good. The interaction feels good. I love it when games do this. I hate when my stuff clips through everything. And it's not horrible. You know, it's not gonna make me stop playing a VR game. I, I'm still gonna enjoy it. It's not like I'm like, oh no, my hands go through walls. I'm gonna stop playing this VR game. But this is so much better. It's it just, it's so much better when games do this. Anyway, not playing with the door. Oh, here I am. So I am a woman. Okay. Has full index finger tracking. Very good. Oh, God, my wrist. Oh, God. Seems to only happen to this one. I've seen quite a few games do that. I think it has something to do with the bones being rotated differently. Like, here you can see it doesn't happen. But here it does. It's probably just the way the bones are rotated, if this was the bone. That's all. That's about all my knowledge in Blender. <laughs> yeah. This probably would work on a quest too, because it's not necessarily high poly count that I'm seeing. It's a lot of like simple shapes, simple art style, which I really like, by the way. I'm not, it's not a negative. I really like this art style. Because it means you can play this on practically anything without having to worry about super performance. Ooh, since I left my phone over there, am I going to miss out on dialogue? Maybe not. Let's hope not. All right, there we go. Some nice fire. Why is it so dark? Oh, it's transitioning to, okay, to night. What's that noise? Whoa. What the fuck? Um. Uh, ooh, wait, can, I can put my hand through if I'm fast enough. <laughs> oh, that's a bit bizarre. Okay, so the world is ending. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'll be dead in a couple seconds. It was nice knowing you, and goodbye. Salute. Oh my god. It's like a space odyssey. Ooh. Oh my god, you are... good looking? Why is one of your hands detached? The hell was that? Uh, thank you? You have- one well, of your arms is about to fall off, and, and just- okay. Oh, this already makes no sense, I love it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Am I shrunk? What is this? Ooh. My bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm still trying out every button to see what it does. So there's someone talking there. I don't think there's going to be anything in here. Even though I am playing in seated mode, I wonder if there's a button to like... Oh, there is! I can crouch down. That's what I was wondering. You have to press down on the right joystick. That's what I've been wondering about. Uh, the reason I'm playing in seated mode is because it's a lot more comfortable. It lets me do longer sessions for... well, longer. <laughs> eh. 
All right then. Um, space time manipulator. Okay. Look, there's a little face. Hello? Did I do something? It's getting louder. That's not just me, is it? Um, alright. Let's hope that's the right way to... Jesus. <laughs> Uh, the date is October 18th, 2015. They moved evac to next week, so I've had to accelerate testing. I've been refining the exotic fields in the bulb, though, and the simulations say it's stable enough for human trials. Should be perfectly safe, so long as I don't teleport into a wall or something. I'm still reliant on the reactor's quantum juice, so the more of that I can get my hands on, the better. All right. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Ah! Uh. Okay. Recording. Oh. <laughs> Space time manipulator devlog 233. He's the dead. October 18th, hey, buddy. You must have been there a while. Holy crap, that is scary. Oh, my God. Trigger teleport. Oh, okay, so this is for, um, teleporting. Do I need to hold it? I think I need to hold it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> this is, um, budget cuts. <laughs> this is totally the mechanic from budget cuts. That's so weird. Uh, B button, switch weapons. All right, and it has the Half-Life Alex menu selection. That is really cool. Also, this feels very good. All right. Wow. Uh, please swipe key card. I do not have a key card. First day in the new lab. Just got moved again. Probably to throw up the feds trying to locate me. Inconvenient, of course, but not as inconvenient as prison. Good to see Plank is still trying to uphold the deal for now, at least. Sector 12 now. Nope. Not my finest residence, but I am right next door to an old associate of mine. Prawl. So, that's nice. I'm trying to prioritize projects, but it's clear I'm going to have to spend way more time developing the space-time manipulator if I want it functional by fall. Alright. <laughs> now, these full physics simulations are really fun. What is it? I don't know. What does Plank use it for? Classified. Why does it seem to leak out of all the walls in the reactor? Well, probably cheap plumbing work. The Ooh. important thing is that it seems to be a viable power source for some of the more exotic functions of my space-time manipulator. With enough juice, I can warp local space-time in any way imaginable. So, honestly, I would like to see more of these type of games. Boneworks and Half-Life Alex were really, really fun. But it's clear that, you know, that much... Oh god, all those graphics and stuff, sound effects. It's going to take a lot of time, so it's not viable for a lot of indie devs to do that. However, something like this, you know, with reduced graphical style, it has a lot more of an indie feel to it, but still doesn't feel cheap in any way. This feels like... This really does feel like a bigger team made this. I think we, if we saw more of these, it would be very cool. Plus, there is Vertigo 2 coming out. What am I talking about? There is one coming out by the same developers. <laughs> Which has me very excited. See, I'm already loving this, and I've been playing this for like... Five minutes, ten minutes. Hey, is someone in there? Is that you, Brian? Ooh. Oh, oh, uh, you're not Brian. They gave me the wrong room. Uh, sorry, we had a no-show at evacuation, and it's my job to locate employees. Hmm. They said this guy was last locked being in this lab, but I couldn't get in, so I've been waiting here for. Oh. It's been 450 days Jesus. Now. I suppose it's a bit late for him to evac at this point. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, evacuation, why are you here? Lower floors are a nightmare these days. Way too dangerous for human workers. Here, let me check your credentials. N no disrespect intended, just protocol access. Oh, yep. Oh, cripes. You're not an employee. You're an alien from an exoproximal. I'm a what? Listen, I'm unarmed. Please don't kill me. 
I'm not gonna. Have the concept of mercy in your universe. Just stay calm, okay? <laughs> I like this character. No, 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 dude, I'm... Ah, uh, damn it. I have that reaction on people, don't I? Mm. I have that sort of effect on people, is what I meant to say. My English is very good, alright? Alright, spooky noise. Let's not, let's not go that way. This looks great! Oh my god, I love this art style. Like, yeah, it's not super high quality, and some of these are, like, plain textures, but... It works. It really works. This is fantastic. Why don't more people talk about this game? I bought it on a whim because I heard one person review it. That's it, one person. They said it was amazing, and I was like, you know what? Sound good. I want to play it. Whoa. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have nothing to fight back with. Hello. Um, can I use this in some way? Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to dodge. What am I doing? I just got this thing. Why don't I use it? Yeah, get fucked. Why didn't I think of this? I saw this and I didn't think of it. Ay ay ay. All right. Hi. Oh. Uh, can you just go away? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't have anything to fight back with. This is a bit of a small door, but it's just my size. <gasps> that looks um, like something to fight back with. Yep. Ooh, ooh. I triggered stuff. Hey, that looks so good. Look at that. Where did I come from? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, can't go that way. Damn it, there's so many of you. Okay, all these doors are locked. Wow. I've seen this effect in VR chat before. I've never seen a game actually use this before. That looks so good. Oh, that looks so good. Oh. Oh, this one doesn't have any voice acting. Finally got the shipment of a uh, Gentile drones from assembly, which means I'm out of a job. Couldn't be happier to be honest. Get out of my head. These servers were a few days late. It's about time too. The matter of exchange events. Oh, an ugly ass alien popped into our dimension, and I have to mop it up once it's killed. I have been getting more and more frequent once every few weeks now, in our sector at least. Huh. All right. What's this? Hum. No? Alright. Is it, like, reforming? What's going on there? It is reforming. That's bizarre. Um. Okay, I have a teleporter. I need to remember that. I have a teleporter. I did not collect any key cards or anything. And all these doors seem locked. Aha! Hmm. Can I stand on this? Yes. All right. Ah, oh, come on. 
I can almost make it up there. Locked, locked, locked. Damn it. Wait, no, one is open. Hey, employees, Science Pete here. Do you know that 60% of non fatal workplace accidents result in contract termination? Work safe, keep liability down. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep this out, it makes a lot of noise. It's a very noisy weapon. Oh, what's this? Okay, so there's some kind of alien infection in this place. Welcome to Floor 5, Research and Development. Research and Development. Isn't that a Half-Life reference? I swear that's a Half-Life reference. Can I... Nah. This is giving me such Half-Life vibes. No wonder people were comparing... No wonder people were comparing it to Half-Life. I can definitely see why they'd say that. And Boneworks for that matter. I've seen that like pattern on the floor before, I swear. Then again, it's just a it's just gray squares. It's you're gonna see that often. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh god. You're an ugly son of a bitch. Die. I'm helping you guys. Okay, so we got big alien and little aliens that don't do much. <laughs> All right. Oh god, damn it! Big alien. Little aliens seem really harmless. Do they even do anything? Hey, hey, buddy. Do you? You don't do anything. Ah, <laughs> oh, these guys are. Kinda ugly. And they don't do anything. Why am I even killing them then? Cause it's fun. Big guy though. Good afternoon, employees. A wise man once said that you must suffer in pursuit of science. Please stop submitting minor complaints to administration. <laughs> we know what working conditions are like, and we aren't going to change them. What a nice guy. It seems like two strong hits will take this guy out. Oh my god. It's a factory down there. Ooh. Still not sure what that's for. It seems like this is for like battery, but I haven't really been using it in the first place, so it doesn't seem all that. Well, I guess it's for people who get motion si sick. Oh boy. Ooh, I like this though. Ah, oh, of course. You know, when I started climbing this, I was hoping it would just fall. I was like, man, I can't wait until that falls. Ah, realistic climbing in VR is so fun. Come on. There we go. Ow. I just elbowed my headset. Oh shit. Okay, there's no run mechanic. You're always just moving at max speed, basically. But that's fine. I kind of prefer it that way. Hmm. No, I'm not getting a connection. Aha. It seems like a hodgepodge of different games. You know, you have budget cuts with the teleporter, you have Half-Life with everything else so far. A little bit of bone works in there too. Oh boy, I better use a teleporter for that. Aha! Such a fun mechanic. I'm glad that I found another game which has this. I wasn't the biggest fan of budget cuts. Uh, like, I did like it. However... There are some issues I have with the game. Them elevator uh, working should have gone with the latest pitch like I have. 
Oh, elevator not working. Wait, why is that written together? I mean, why is that written together? That seems like an error. Uh, now we back over and I'm stuck in the vents. Rying. Rying to get into maintenance, but these things are like a maze. Lost in one of my shoes in the recycle. Feels like I'm dying of thirst. I think I'm lost. Oh, maybe it's on purpose. Because there's like three misspellings in that entire thing. Oh. Not sure which way to go. That seems impossible. No, actually, it goes on a pattern. Let's go where the fire is not. Okay, so one place has water. This seems like it's easily... Did I just... Okay. No one pay attention to that. Oh, oh god! Uh, you guys saw nothing? Nothing happened. Oh, sweet. At least this game has good checkpoints. Alright, um, I'm gonna go down the water path. Seems like the easiest. Wait a minute, what's that? Okay. Well, I found a card. That's very interesting. Oh, am I on the other side now? Oh, okay, so there's different paths. That one would have been faster, technically. Not sure where the third one led. I see an elevator. Okay. There's something I'm clearly missing. Do I have to break this? Okay, you can't blame that on me. The game never showed me I could break class. This is literally the first time I could break class. This is not on me. Wow, so I shouldn't even have felt bad about clipping through this, because that's literally where I'm supposed to go. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, control station. This thing's out of power, clearly. I just spent all that time. Oh my god. I feel so stupid. It's a very clean. Uh, elevator stopped at a weird spot. Uh, are you hmm. Oh, that's some good looking water. Well, this is a change of scenery I can appreciate. Whoa. Is this really just made by one guy? I have to look this up later. There is no way there's not a team behind this. And what is this key card for? There was the only key card door I've seen was in the beginning of the game. Is that for a new game plus type of deal? Like if I replay the game or if I finish the game with that in my inventory, will I just in new game plus, will I still have it? If there's a new game plus, I have a lot of questions. If that's the case, that'd be pretty cool. I'm keeping this key card until I can use it.
Hmm. Very ominous. I did not think this was a horror game. What the fuck? Why does it have a hand for a head? Oh, there's one creepy looking bastard. Oh. Whoa. What? Boss fight? What the fuck? I did not expect a boss fight. This game has boss fights? What the fuck? Get your filthy paws off me, you damn dirty ape! I did not expect this to be completely honest. Yeah, hit your own tentacle. How long it, until you're dead? <laughs> what? It gets harder? Okay, first, they present me with a creepy head, hand, enemy, face monster, and then they throw me into a boss fight out of nowhere. <laughs> this game is so unexpected. Holy crap. My arm kind of started to hurt a little bit from that, but that's fine. Oh, 
I guess that was the entire section. Neat. Just a neat little boss fight. Whew.